you know who the National Socialist Party was in Germany? Well, it happened to be some weird guys walking around with mustache, flinging up high fives <laughs> all the time for people. Yeah. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Eclectic Beard, where variety is a spice of life, and hopefully you can find some of that spice here. Now, this go around. I've seen this. I've seen a couple of this dude's videos. Um, I've seen other people taking put some of his stuff out there. Uh, Angry Cop is the name of the channel. Uh, apparently, he's ex-military or he's currently a, in military. Been drill sergeant. Um, he's got a very <laughs> awesome perspective on a lot of things. So I've seen this. Let's see what the hell he's got to say on this. World War II hurt my feelings. All right, you know it's gonna be a good video whenever you got that. Operator Sam is back, baby, and I'm here to drop some knowledge on you. Should millennials know more about our most recent conflicts, or is it time for old people to stop talking about the war? Freddie Bentley, some Instagram star, I guess, showed up on Good Morning Britain the other day. <laughs> yeah. Why the fuck do people put so much, like, shit into what the hell somebody on Instagram says. Like, for real. I'm an influencer. I, I mean, my voice needs to be heard. You, you push products. Some Instagram star, I guess, showed up on Good Morning Britain the other day. <laughs> he had some interesting points of view to share. And Freddie Bentley from the first series of Channel 4's The Circle who says it's not good for children's mental health. A little Freddie boy made an unpopular statement saying that a majority of the World War II shouldn't be taught in schools. It's uh, too violent. It affects the mental health of young students and should be replaced with... <laughs> too violent. We're not going to go home and play fucking Call of Duty and goddamn Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. They... <laughs> Alright. Other skills like mortgages and other shenanigans. They were taken too well by uh, everybody over the age of idiot. So why do you think that, Fred? Firstly, I want to start off by saying that um, I find it um, very, like, obviously it was an... Um... Somebody needs to take Freddy's lip injections away from him. <laughs> I know, no, no, <laughs> And I don't want anyone to think that I'm being disrespectful in that way whatsoever. However, I will stand by the point that I don't think it's as educational in the way that we, you know, there's so many problems going on in the world at the moment. Like, what the fuck does that have to do with the price of tea in China? You you repeat the mistakes of the past if you don't teach the fucking history, you fucktard. Holy shit. Brexit. What sentence was that? What did this dude, this dude's on a morning talk show <laughs> with news people, <laughs> legitimate news people, and the words that come out of his mouth are, I don't know, you know what I mean, like, if you want to try and get, like, this thing to another, and, like, education, but if you take the education <laughs> in, well, Brexit, so, you know, how is it that this kid is the only one that sounds like that? Right, because if your hair is in the right place with the things in my big hands making movements. <laughs> and, um, climate change, which is a situation that I feel like we should be aware of. And, you know, when I left school, I... Climate change, you mean like the fact that Antarctica, thousands of years ago, was fucking subtropical. And our climate has always been changing. Woo! -hoo! I don't... Look, I'm not saying that people are wrong when it comes to climate change. I just think they're a little bit misguided, you know, corporations and money and, you know, needing to take and make sure we can write more laws by our government so we have even less rights because climate and the kids and yeah, we got melting glaciers, although the ice sheet keeps getting longer and thicker. I felt like it hit me like a ton of bricks. I think that we're already aware of climate change, kid. We got 14-year-old Greta Thunberg or, or whatever her name is <laughs> making talks to you and I think we kind of got the climate change is a thing. I think it's been kind of shoved down our throats. I'm pretty sure everybody's aware of that. What, uh, next teaching point, professor? I felt like I knew that what I was doing in life. Then all of a sudden, it hit me because I didn't know how to save. Wait, what you're doing in life? You're a fucking, in you're, you're on Instagram. You're an Instagram influencer, which means this brand goes, hey, shout us out. We'll give you money. Oh, okay. And you've got thousands of dipshits to take and buy the stuff after you take and 
put out there what the hell they take and want you to take and promote for them. Your social media advertisement, that's all you are. For a mortgage, so I feel like right. instead of, <clears throat> um, um, you know, focusing so much on our history and holding on to this past. Mm. Who's getting out of high school and automatically going for a mortgage? What age are you buying homes over there at? I was 19 when I bought my first house. I was, I was out of high school for a couple years. Ready for this? Let's say your mortgage is $500 a month. I'm the low end, all right? How about you take the $500 out of your paycheck every month and then not touch it and only use it for a mortgage. The rest of it can be for whatever the hell you want, but that $500 for free mortgage. Hey guys, I just taught this kid how to get a mortgage on in like two seconds. Budgeting and, uh, 101. And now we can learn about some World War II shit. All right, problem solved there, Freddie, you big dumb idiot. <laughs> let it go a little bit. I'm not saying get rid of it totally, but let go of it a little bit. And get rid of it a little bit? How long do you spend on World War II over there? I'm not gonna lie, you probably spend a lot of time on one and two, considering you needed somebody to be <laughs> twice in a row. And the fight for freedom that you and I enjoy. And I totally get that, but I don't think it needs to be in, in, in put in such a young way to young children, like mentally, in their mental health. To Once again, what is this idiot talking about? I don't think Metu, you need to put Metu in his mental children in the way that... Yep, we're going to take a word about World War II being too violent and affecting children's mental health. Well, meanwhile, Mommy and Daddy are taking and doing crack and uh, heroin and stuff like that. But let's not take and look at that as part of the reason why they grow up with mental health problems. Or they're taking and trying to force, you know, certain things on them that are... We won't go there. Yeah, man, to be thinking. To be told that this certain amount of people died for you, I think I mean, it's a lot of... You mustn't exaggerate. I mean, No, I don't, you know, I don't think I am church, exaggerating. You know, you, you I remember learning in it as a child. We can't thinking, cause My it, God, it's, can't so, cause it's so it intense. Sure. Yes, it's intense. War is intense. They did die for you. Now, you might not be wanting to say it like that to children and saying this individual person got shot in the throat so you could be a social media star. No, we don't put it that way. What they say is, is that a lot of people sacrificed their own lives to make sure that tyranny and genocide was wiped off the face of the earth. If anything, people need to start understanding a little bit more about World War II. Let me drop a couple bombs on you. Did you know who the National Socialist Party was in Germany? Well, it happened to be some weird guys walking around mustache, flinging up high fives <laughs> all the time for people. Yeah, not exactly the most, I don't know, glorious form of socialism. What's that? People are trying to employ socialism here in the States. It's almost as if they didn't learn enough about World War II. I got an idea. Let's pull a beta O'Rourke and turn in all of our firearms. That way everybody's gonna be safe. Wait a second. I believe a certain Adolf did that to a certain <clears throat> Yiddish population in Germany. Whoa, 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 my goodness, the socialized form of government took away the firearms from its people, a means to defend itself and to defend themselves from a tyrannical government? Do we have an amendment about that? I Yes, sir, the Second Amendment. Tyrannical government. It's the reason why we have the Second Amendment. Thank you for covering that. Too many idiots these days think it's just, oh, you did hunting and shut the fuck up. I believe we do. It's either the first or the third. I forget. You think that a body count really affected your mental health when you were in high school or grade school? No. It's funny how a body count can affect their mental health in high school, but fucking kill death ratio won't. You're too busy playing Call of Duty trying to get a high enough body count so you get a supply package dropped. Or a nuke. Oh, by the way, we dropped two of those in World War II. This is how the United <laughs> Kingdom repays us for swooping in not once, but twice and helping you out of a sticky situation, huh? So that your 22-year-old Instagram stars could suck their fucking lips at me. Um... And tell me I don't need to learn nothing about the war. You will need to know that it's a dangerous world out there. Of course they, they need they to need know, to but know I don't think... crossing the road is sometimes dangerous. Of course. They need it... to know that if they get too fat, there are obesity issues now. But of course, but mental health is on the rise completely. I don't think encouraging 
death or telling people how many people died in a world war is going to help so someone funny. in the future. Oh you my God. Up, right. You know I wasn't worried about mental health as much as you are, 22-year-old posh English kid? I'm going to go with the 16-year-olds that were in foxholes. Hey, everybody, I got a social media account and a low fame and some prosthetic lips glued into my face. I know about education. See, that's, that, oh my god. See, that's, a, that's the problem. Oh my god. If social media, if half these little fucks were around back then, if there was anything close to... They'd get kicked in the fucking pussy is what the fuck would happen. Oh, wait, it wouldn't hurt because it'd be kicked in the pussy. <clears throat> They'd take and knock the fucking soy lattes out of their fucking hands before they kicked them where nuts should be. And mental health. Completely. I don't think encouraging death or telling people how many people died in a world war is going to help so someone pretty, in the future. You Knowing the amount of people that died isn't just so you could get heart palpitations in the middle of middle school while you try to hide your shame boner underneath the desk and pray the teacher doesn't have <laughs> you to stand up and answer your question. All right. It's so that you understand that there is a cost to war, that it should be avoided. That, if you're not smart and learn from the past and see the red flags popping up all around your country, maybe you could be able to stop that. Someone's politics Standing and up to bully Yeah, you would, you would always stand up to a bully, wouldn't of you? Of course. I'm, I'm someone that can hold my own. You couldn't hold a conversation <laughs> with a <the> wood <laughs> plank guy. <laughs> I'm going to kiss it with my big fat lips. No, I can't. I can't. It's going to give me spatters in my lip. His lips will hit him before a fist would. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> I can't hold my own. Oh my god, you can probably barely hold your own fucking lunch if it weighs more than half a fucking pound. I'll go, like an old leaked out balloon, right? Start of the second one. And, and I totally get that. I'm not. I'm not saying that we shouldn't. Stop, Learn about stop learning about World War Two, but I think there's so many more things that's going on right what now. You learn about? You're saying we shouldn't learn about the atrocities that were committed by a national socialist party, the mass execution, the largest on scale execution the world has ever seen. I mean, like, third and only to Stalin killing a whole bunch of, you know, his people and the Chinese massacring so many that weren't communist. But communism is cool nowadays. Right, UC Berkeley? Yeah, I'd like to know how the fuck that happened. Everybody wants to take and put up like Che Guerrero on a fucking pedestal. He's on t-shirts and shit. And that motherfucker took and not only did he... Not only did he take and kill people that were against his fucking viewpoint, but also the minorities in countries like Cuba and in, in South America where he went back to. That... The problem is with people that idealize fucking communism is they take the idealistic viewpoint of... Oh, it's a, you know, it should be a great system while taking out the human aspect of what the fuck happens whenever you take and allow one person to make the fucking rules. That's the fucking issue. You've got places like China. You've got places like Vietnam. You've got places like North Korea. You've got places like Russia where it was one at one point in time. And I, they, people fucking starve because the government takes control of every fucking thing. These motherfuckers want to take and put so much trust in government, but yet, then again, I, I, I don't fucking get it. I don't trust my fucking government. I love, I love my country. I do not trust my fucking government. We have rights. They're being fucking trampled. These other fucking countries, like fucking Venezuela, they can say whatever the fuck they Oh, yeah. It's, it's American embargoes and stuff like that. The reason why they had... No, they fucking nationalized all the industry over there before America started with this shit. They've had multiple, multiple, multiple elections that were held, that were rigged. If democracy, if democracy, democracy is not upheld in a fucking country that's supposed to have democracy, they just have socialist fucking policy. If democracy is not is not fucking upheld, and other countries take and see it, and something's not done. Then what the fuck is the point of the fucking UN? What the fuck is the point of having fucking allied nations to you? Like, all of a sudden, the people that were buying their oil were like, wait, 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 see, this isn't looking right. Let's take and do something about it. So what the fuck happened? That's the reason why everybody took and got sanctions on the son of a bitches. But socialism's so fucking great, right? Communism, oh, it, it's, uh, we need communism.
fucking morons. Learn some fucking history. Learn how Mao took and starved over 30 million of his own goddamn citizens. Learn how Stalin took and uh, did it the same thing to 20 million and fucking Lenin t uh, 15 million before him. Learn about the fucking gulags or how right now the fucking uh, Muslim, uh, and I can't remember the, the names of the fucking people, but the Muslim uh, people that have been there in fucking China for fucking hundred, over a hundred fucking years are being rounded up and either sent to, uh, sent to re-education camps or they're sent to camps that are supposed to be re-education camps and their families never see them the fuck again. But you want that kind of fucking shit here in this country. Fuck off. Right did now, you learn about the Second World War when you were at school? I, I, I mean, I, I did. We learned a little bit in primary school. A little school. bit? Yeah. Not I mean, in secondary? Not in secondary, no. We oh, I'm sorry. What was that? You barely learned about it? Just uh, to quote you a little bit. A little bit in primary and then not in secondary school? So then what's all this? It's taking up way too much class time talking nonsense. You just spit five minutes ago. Apparently, it's not taking up any time because you just learned a little bit of it. Maybe you should learn a little bit more. I would love to see this kid at like a Christmas dinner table with his grandparents. Oi, how about you shut up, granddad, you old geezer? I won't hear no more of your war stories, huh? I gotta take a selfie with me phone, huh? Well, since he doesn't want to hear it, allow me to tell you. Over six million Jews were exterminated thanks to the National Socialist Party of Germany. The United Kingdom lost 383,000. And even though the United States came later on in the war, we lost 407,000, which is peanuts compared to the Soviets' loss of an estimated 8.6 and 11.7 million people. Those were just military members, those numbers that I just gave you. When you add in the civilian and military death toll in Russia, it was over 20 million. Think about that on a cold night. The reason the world's getting so soft is because of kids like this. Exactly. And I say kids Fucking even though I think he's exactly. 22 years old. Because he's a child. He doesn't have the mindset of a man. He has the mindset of a boy. What person disregards the hard times? What do you think you would do in that situation, Freddy? Hmm? Think you'd be one of those guys on those boats storming Omaha Beach while... He'd be in the fucking bread lines take because he's too pussy to take and go fight. He'd be in he'd be in the fucking bread lines instead of being on the fucking front lines because now he's having to take a ration stuff and the whole Instagram shit wouldn't matter for a fuck stick worth of anything. Well, you wouldn't be at Omaha because that was the Americans. But you think you would have airdropped in with some SAS, huh? The world first airborne, falling into enemy lines, rushing a beach, knowing that there's pillboxes and machine guns and mortars already lined up. Do you think you could handle that? Or is that not going to be good enough for your mental health? Fucking uh, <clears throat> sorry for the language in this because it was all throughout it, but stuff like that pisses me off. This radicalized generation that we've got with everybody taking him. Oh, socialism. And then you go, socialism sucks. Oh, well, look, look at Finland and look at Scandinavia. They had they don't have socialism. They still have free market economics with very liberal social policy. They also have an agreement between the government and and the corporations there to take in, the corporations put extra money towards healthcare and stuff like that. They don't have socialism. The stuff isn't fucking nationalized. And people are like, oh, that's not socialism. They don't take in that bullshit. Shut the fuck up and learn some goddamn history. That being said, that Instagram star needs his ass kicked. I, I'm just, I'm just saying he needs his ass whoop one good time. And maybe somebody needs to take a, a needle and poke at one of his lips so it could kind of deflate a little bit. I don't know. Do that and he might not be able to take and survive if he don't know how to swim. Because he could damn sure use those lips as flotation devices. Just saying. Anyways, like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you want to see. Y'all have a lovely evening. Peace out.